This lesson will be going over the use of a couple of websites to do a little bit of historical digging about companies and the types of infrastructure that they may be using. This information, of course, is useful so that we can narrow down our focus in terms of what we want to target against them for attacks. Now, over time, we've improved our awareness about what sorts of information we may want to divulge. So several years ago, you may have gone to a company's website and discovered that you could get email addresses and names of people in positions that you may find relevant. There were all sorts of bits of information that could be used against the company. And over time, we have discovered that those sorts of pieces of information probably don't belong on a website where they can be used against a company. And so they have been pulled off. Now, it used to be also that Google had the ability to pull up information that it had cached. So, for example, if a website was no longer available or if it was temporarily offline, there was a little cached button that you could click when you did a Google search and you could pull up that cached information. So even though the website wasn't available, you could still get the information from Google. Google's removed that, so we don't have that ability any longer. However, there is an internet archive that we can go to that will provide information about what websites looked like in years gone by. So I'm going to go to the Wayback Machine, which you can see is at archive.org, and I am going to infiniteskills.com, and we're going to take a historical look at the Infinite Skills website. You can see we've got some years where they've got information going back to 2008. They've done some archived captures. So let's go back to the very beginning. Looks like the first snapshot that they were able to take was in February of 2008. And we can see there it's just a username and password. So we go back and let's try later in the year and see if things got any more interesting. So in December, it looks like they've posted some content, and the content looks much different than it does today. I can jump ahead a little bit to 2010, and you can see a number of snapshots that they gathered. Here's one in June that looks different than the one from two years previously, of course. So you can see that you could go back a couple of years and see what a website used to look like, and, of course, get the information that used to be there that isn't there any longer. So let's take a look at Microsoft.com here. Now you can see their website goes back to 1996. And we can pull that up. Their first snapshot was in October of 1996. And you can see what Microsoft's website looked like way back then. There's 2003. We can go back to 2000. And there's a number of snapshots here that we can take a look at. We happen to grab one on August 31st, 2000. So the Wayback Machine is really useful for getting some historical context on what websites used to look like, as well as the information that they used to have. Another really useful website is one that's called Netcraft. Now, Netcraft does internet research, including the types of web servers that companies run. And they have a web server survey. You can see here as we scroll down, Apache's web server has 64.3% of the internet market. Of course, that's followed by Microsoft with 13%. Interesting information, maybe useful information, but even more useful than that is looking at what different companies run for their websites. You can see here Infinite Skills, date first seen was in November 2002, and we have a little bit of hosting history here. The IP address doesn't look like it's changed over the last couple of years. And they have been on a Linux platform running Apache 2.2.3. Looks like they're on Red Hat. 
and they've got some modules that have been installed on Apache as well. You can use this information to get more specific about the version of the web server that you're running. So you can maybe go look for vulnerabilities that are specific to that version and target your attack more closely against the company that you're doing your ethical hack on. So Netcraft and Wayback Machine, both really useful websites for gathering some historical data on companies and in particular the targets of your ethical hacking.